Kaylee Humphreys, congratulations. Your first win in Innsbruck. That's taken a while, right? It sure has. <laughs> it's taken its sweet time. Um, but it feels great. This is my first race, racing with Lolo as well. And to go 1-2 with Alana, I mean, it just feels awesome and great for Team USA. So I'm super proud and excited of my performance, of Lolo's performance, and of our entire teams. It really was a team effort to get to this point today. Well, let's talk about a couple of issues you brought up there. You persuaded Lolo to come back to bobsled. She was disappointed not to get to Pyeongchang. Clearly, she's got one target, the same as yours, to go to Beijing and win. She sure does, and I know she's super motivated, and she's a fighter. She's going to fight and do everything she can, and I believe in that wholeheartedly. Um, that's part of why I gave her a call this summer, just to say, hey, you know, what's your plans? What are you doing? So there's still a lot that's going to happen between now and the Olympics, and as all of us know, anything can happen, but I do trust that she's going to give her very best effort every single time she gets out on the track, and uh, I look forward to seeing what she can bring to our Team USA going into next year. Now, you talked coming into this week about how busy the last three weeks have been. You've driven loads of different sleds. You've had to try and learn how to make the <laughs> monobob work, which you clearly did with two wins out of two starts. But you gave yourself a, li a little bit of headspace this week with just one thing to focus on. Have you now found your happy place with this new sled? <laughs> quite sure yet this this sled's definitely a prototype so it was going to take some work we knew that this is the fourth sled this year that i've driven um a lot of it especially with this year the team usa missing the whole first half of competition you know we're really focusing on the olympics and so i'm really trying to learn as much as i can about my equipment about different things that make sleds fast um, from the fes's that the germans have to the bmw's you know to these monobob sleds so this year was a big learning year and it's been no different and i was starting to get tired <laughs> mentally <laughs> and i'm not the youngest physically so it's been a minute and i really needed just to focus on one event. Two men is the start of next week for World Champs. So I wanted to give myself this week, focus on pushes with Lolo, focus on, you know, learning this sled, chopping and changing, just driving two men, getting a good feel. And uh, it worked, so I'm happy with that. I tried to work smarter, not harder this week. And I feel a lot more rested going into the next two weeks of Altenburg, which will be a very big two weeks. Tell us about Altenburg as a driver. Is it a track that you relish going to? Is, is there plenty there that drivers can use to make a difference? There definitely is. It's, it's one of the most technical tracks that we go to. It's extremely difficult. Each driver has to have massive respect for that track. Anything can go wrong at any time. You know, to win bobsled races, you have to have the start. You got to have the drive. You got to have the equipment. Altenburg, definitely the drive, is one of the more challenging parts. And so it does take a lot of mental space. Each driver really needs to be focused every single time they head down that track or she'll bite you. So I personally love it. I love the track. Um, I'm more of a technical driver. I, I enjoy driving the sled. And so I've always had great results there. I've had great feel of the track there. And I'm gonna rely on my experience having been there definitely over the next weeks. I look forward to the mono bob there. I've never driven one there. I don't think most of our girls have never driven a mono there. The pressures are high. The speed is fairly high for the pressures and you need to nail your steers. And so we'll see what happens when we don't have brakemen in the back of mono bob in week two. Um, and to go two weeks straight, women have never done that, especially in Altenburg. And so it's going to be challenging, but I really, really look forward to that challenge. And I'm just so grateful that women now have an opportunity to race twice at Worlds and win two medals. And actually, that two-week duration is something that you're going to need to know about because that's what's going to happen in the games with sure both is. disciplines up for grabs. So yeah. it's a dress rehearsal. It really is. And I think that's what was so important about getting Monobob at Worlds this year, whether it would have been Lake Placid or Altenburg, but being able to have that dry run, being able to go the whole week, um, focusing on one event, knowing, and just us getting used to the Monobobs. I've only done two races. Um, so I've had like eight runs, eight training runs, you know, four race runs in the sled. It's, it's not much. So it definitely is going to be a process and I look forward to having a whole week to be able to focus on that. But it's super exciting to know that in Beijing, it'll be a historic monobob, first time ever. 
Um, and so, you know, I, I fought for that. That was a big part of trying to get women more equal in our sport and two chances to win medals like our men have had for a long time. And so to be able to fight for it, but actually it happened, you know, during my career is huge and I'm grateful for it. And I look forward to putting my best foot forward.